Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive... Hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. Success? We'll see in a minute. I knew it would work. Let's get back before Lambert kills the Frightener himself. Blocking the stairs. What did you learn? The bandits are in the lab, searching for something. The mage used the circle of elements to create a magic barrier. The plague! You're all children. Why didn't you mention the circle? Triss, child, it didn't seem important. If the mage aligned with the circle, he can create a stable portal through which he'll travel to anywhere on the continent, taking your equipment with him. All right, we made a mistake, but you said the mage was harmless. I said I didn't know him. I think we should protect the lab above all. Don't panic, Marigold. We know you'd like to see our witch's secrets. Vesemir, if that idiot doesn't shut it, I'll... Enough! Lambert, stop baiting Triss. Show her some respect. Triss, if we go to the lab, they'll have us surrounded. We know tactics. Maybe we should split up. Geralt's right. We need to protect the lab and kill the Frightener. Who goes where? Only I can break the barrier. I'm going inside. Vesemir? I'll stay and handle the Frightener and Savola. What about you, Geralt? We may both need your help. The lab is important. I'm going with Triss. Me too. It's decided then. Eskel and Lambert will stay with me. Savola just cast a spell. Something's happening. The ground is shaking. Feel it? They're breaking through. Watch out! Quickly, defend the laboratory!
This could be a hard fight, Geralt. Take this potion. Witchers call it the Tawny Owl. It restores endurance. Very useful when fighting mages. Thanks. Let's go. We can't afford to lose any more time. Let's go! You'll go no further, White One. I'll summon a powerful demon that will tear you apart! A bluff. He's exhausted from teleportation. Magic light is about all he can muster. Go. We'll deal with him and join you at the barrier. Underestimating an opponent. Now the energy of my people will make the stronger.
Are you hurt? Did he get you? Nah. But if those were magic lights, I'd hate to face a truly powerful sorcerer. I wanted to help, but I couldn't break through that strange circle. Savol is eating dirt. That's what matters. We need to help Triss. Let's go. I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. Let's see. Leo, stop! Smashed ribs, punctured lung. 
He's dying. He needs White Rafford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the Professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body.
laid me down here. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell, and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss'll hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. I'll find you later. I'll find you later.
You'll regret the day you were born. with me and die. You dare challenge the Salamandra! I'll make you squeal. Mess with me and die.
What do you need? Done. I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. That was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Are there other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all, but it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of, except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morhen, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. Can I ask you something? Of course. You mentioned defending Kaer Morhen before. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, twenty-three witches and forty students called Kaer Morhen home. Too damned few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witches. But no. Someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. Truer still. The fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. Can I ask you something? Of course. Any idea who attacked? No, but the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gall and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion.
Yes? What if I get the ingredients wrong? You'll have to find more. Where? I'll have another claw and more celandine. Eskel has alcohol and I saw calcium equum somewhere upstairs. But try to get it right the first time, it's not that hard. Where are Lambert and Eskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library, and Eskel's taking Triss to a room. I have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest, and prepare the potion according to the formula. Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out. But I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. Nothing to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive, hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. <laughs> Geralt, a pleasure, as always. As always? You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, 
How did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens, their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the Circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. Geralt, can we go? Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? The theft. What are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on, then. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal Then planet. I'll head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. See you, Triss. Caroline, I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. I'm cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. 
Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Alvin, do exactly as I say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? Evil dogs! Run! What the hell? Shut the gate, quickly! The beast! The beast is attacking! Sound the alarm! Geralt! Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her! Help! No! Don't open the gate! The beasts will enter! These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters! Stand aside! I save them myself! Stop. Don't go out there alone. Damn you! We're all going to die! <sighs> Magic, surely. The beast! Geralt, look! The time of the sword and axe approaches! The time of the white frost and white light! The time of madness and disdain! To it the final age! The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun! Reborn of elder blood, of hen ichor, of a planted seed, a seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's all right. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the beast. Someone might pay to have the beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. What brings you to this village? I'm traveling to St. Lebiota's Hospital in Vizima to help fight the Catriona Plague. When are you leaving? Once I've helped the victims of the dog attacks, I guess. I can't abandon them. It'll delay me, but some are certain to die without my aid. So what'll become of Alvin? I don't know. I'll look after him for now. 
Maybe a villager will take him in. He seems clever enough. Surely someone will want him. Did you want to ask me something? It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious, muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? They killed someone I was fond of, and stole something of mine. I wouldn't want to be them. We'll speak later.